My name is John Chandrai from Pan Pan Farm in Thailand. Pan Pan is a self-reliant learning center and seed saving center in Thailand. Pan Pan is a seed saving center and learning uh, self-reliant learning center. We start Pan Pan about 20 years ago. The reason is um, before we start Pan Pan, I uh, used to work in the city, and I think that like, the way we live now is not it's not fun. It's not for human. It just turn turn human to be uh, a good slave, good worker. But we did not think about ourselves much. When I left Bangkok and I experiment. How can human live happily? How can human human don't need to work eight hours per day every day? Because there's no reason why we have to work that much, and then we did not enjoy our life. Work a lot, but not enough to eat, not enough to live, suffer a lot. Then what's the point of working hard? So after I experiment to learn how to be self reliant. Self-reliance means rely on ourselves in the four basic needs, at least. Food, shelter, daily needs, and healing. If we learn how to do this thing, we don't need to spend four years like in university. Only a few months, you can learn how to grow your own food. You can learn how to build your own house. You can make soap, make shampoo, make sauce, make anything that you need in daily life easily. And we learn how to do self-healing in the basic sickness. I feel like when we learn this thing, it helped to increase our self-esteem a lot. I feel like I have less fear, less worry. I feel have, I have more confidence in my life. I think this is the real freedom. When you have less fear, it's the real freedom. And then when we learn how to be self-reliant, we rely on ourselves and we rely on each other. The meaning of self-reliance means not rely on the big system, but we rely on each other among ourselves. That means we can do what we like. What we don't like, we rely on our friend, our community nearby. So it creates a way of living that helps us to enjoy our life more because we don't feel like we're working. We just do what we like to do. Every day is fun. This is the, the way life should be. We don't need to force ourselves to get up early to do the same work over and over every day, even we don't like it, but we have to do so we can get some little bit of money to buy a very bad food to eat and to sleep in the bad place. Why human have to be like this? This is the way I want to share the experience for people who don't want to live in the main system. They want to have choice. But people who love the system, it's okay. No, it's not a mistake. Whenever they like it, it's not a problem. But whenever they don't like it, but they have to do it, that is suffering. That's why I think we need to have choice for human, for us. So we start Pan Pan because we want to be a place where people come to learn. Learn how to design our life in the way we want it. We don't need to force ourselves to do what we don't like for many years. There's no reason to do that. And the main thing of self-reliance is to have seeds. Seed is food. Food is life. But the seed disappears from the world every day and never come back. I think this is the most scary thing, the most serious thing in the world now. But not many people talk about it. That's why we think we need to save seed now. No seed, no freedom, no seed, no happiness, no seed, no life. So we start Pan Pan 20 years ago, saving seed and give seed for free to people. We don't want to sell seed. Even we spend most of our income for grow vegetable and save seed, but we give it for free because we feel like we want to give life to people. When we give free seed to people, the seed will be in many people's hands 
if we make mistake, we maybe lose some of them, but other people will have it. This is the meaning of seed saving for us. Globalization, it makes a big change in Thailand. People are excited about globalization, but the, not many people think about the negative side of it. Globalization ruins many things in our life. The first thing is food. Globalization make people eat the same thing. Before that, we eat many hundred kinds of vegetables per year. But when we have globalization, we eat lettuce, carrot, tomato, like Western people. So local vegetables disappear after that. And the way of life change. Globalization ruin diversity in our food and ruin diversity of our culture, ruin diversity of thinking. It ruin everything. So now people, the whole country, think the same way and do the same thing. That means work hard to make money. Don't care about themselves. Don't care about nature. Don't care about family. Don't care about anything. Money is number one. That means it kills ourselves. When we think that our life, our body is not the first priority, that's the end of it. That's why people can eat garbage, can drink garbage. They don't care just to fill up stomach so we can be a good slave, work hard to make money and get sick and die before die have sex and build up another slave to continue this system. That's what we are doing. So this is what globalization give to us. So we think that we are so civilized. We have airplane, we have technology, we have money, we have everything, but we don't have time to live. So what's the meaning of our life? We're just a robot. This is what happened in Thailand. More and more people move to the city to be a good robot, work hard to make income, to buy gas, to fill up ourselves. So now it's very hard to go back, to bring back our own seed, bring back our own culture, the culture of eating, the culture of living, how to be together, how to help ourselves. We lost most of it. So it looked beautiful, but behind it is quite scary, globalization. I think it's useful in one way, but it destroyed in another side too. So when we think about globalization, I think we need to think about it with consciousness, think it deeply. What really, what we really need, it, we use that part. But another part, we need to ignore it. We cannot refuse it, it's here already. But how can we live with it with understanding? I think that's, that's the main thing that we have to, to be aware now about globalization. I think Thailand, we just exposed to uh, globalization not really long. So many people exciting about new thing. It's so attractive to see some Thai technology, to see some fancy thing. It's very exciting. So they in the period of honeymoon now. But many countries like Japan or Western country, they passed the honeymoon time already. So now they found that it's not the way that we want it. That's why many people feel like they, they lost the way. They're looking for new choice, new way. Some people feel hopeless. They commit suicide. They become depressed, have a lot of problems. So a lot of homeless people, a lot of drug addict people, because of what? Because we don't know where to go, what to do. What's the point of our life? We don't know what is happiness. 
We don't know what is love. That's what happened now, because people in the new generation we grew up, we never experienced what is love. What is freedom? Because when we grew up, we were separate from our parents. We never join suffering and happiness together. To join suffering and happiness together, that is the way we learn love. But now, the kids were separate, and then we use school as a tool to separate kids from parents. That's the capitalism, the globalization. This system think love, freedom, and happiness is obstacle of capitalism. So they need to destroy this feeling from human as fast as they can. School is the first tool to destroy what is love, because they separate the kids from their parents. So love, we will learn love by being together. Join suffering and happiness together. When they went to the school, they did not have contact with parents much. Everybody's busy. Everybody don't have time to be together. So we don't know what is love. So when new generation grew up, they just think about love is have sex, love is shopping, love is have uh, drugs or something like that. Happiness is the same thing. So at the end, it's not. We need another love, love that we feel warm, we feel joy to be together. We don't have that experience. Even freedom, new generation don't have experience about freedom at all in their life. When they grew up, they have a lot of schedule, a lot of plan every day, every hour. When they grew up, they don't know what is freedom. Just grew up in the jail. This is the whole world, is this jail. So this is what happen in many area in the world now when we think about globalization it mean we lost our freedom lost our happiness lost our soul we become a robot so it's a big problem now i think in thailand is like a developing country we are lucky because Many people in this era, they grew up in two eras, like a self-reliant eras and localization, localization era and globalization era. So they learn both sides. So many people start to compare what happened when you live in the globalization. You can see people in the city working hard eight hours per day, at least every day, and never go anywhere get sick, eat very bad, have a lot of money, and die in the middle of money. They never enjoy their life. So many people start to see this. And when you look back, when people become like a localization, oh, you have a lot of fun. You're laughing all the time, joking around. You make your own rice wine. You make your, grow your own pot, uh, smoke, or do whatever you want. Have fun. And when you have fun enough, you die happily. So they start to compare. That's why in Thailand, we are lucky. Now many people come back to think about localization. The first thing to before localization is we need to think about self-reliant first. If we cannot be self-reliant, we cannot be localization. So now Pan Pan start 20 years and we have been trained more than 30,000 people, I think. And now we networking with another group. More than, I think maybe 300,000 people were trained in this way, more and more. So now, a lot of people move out to the farm. We need to thank for COVID-19. Because COVID-19 make many people who work in the city and they get tired of life in the city, but they don't want to, they want to go back home, but they're not brave enough because they have a lot of fear because the system put a lot of fear in our head that if you don't work here, you don't have enough money, no insurance, no saving, you will die. 
But COVID like kicked them out when they left the city and went back home. They asked for seed from us. They start to grow. And then some of them come to train with us. And then they found that life is that easy? You just work a little bit, you have enough food to feed your family. And you have time to play with your kid. You have time to be with your family. And I think more than 30% of people who left Bangkok, who left the city during COVID-19 will not go back. Because now many of them, they learn how to design the land from us. Many of them dig many ponds now, saving water. Water is very, water is security. Collect rainwater as much as they can. Now they dig ponds everywhere. And then when you have water, you can have a small garden, you have small rice field, have a house, have a plant, have trees, and the less of the land turn to forest. If they have designed like this, whatever happened, you're okay. Even economics collapse today, they're okay. Disaster, natural disaster, or whatever happened, we can help themselves because the forest can give us everything. We have a house from the forest, we have herbal plant from forest, we have food from forest. We have everything, even we want money. After we grow forest, five years, 10 years, the value of trees increase every day. But if we deposit money in the bank, the value of money decrease every day. So now they feel more secure. They feel life is so easy. More and more people discover this now.